Wright defender Kamal Miller and midfielder Eric Williamson. Um, we'll start with questions in the room and then go online. Who wants to start us off in the room? Um, go ahead. Eric, how did it feel just to get those starting minutes done at Coachella? I think they're massive. Um, it was good to kind of come in, um, have a short off season, and um, turn it around quickly so I could I could get those minutes. So it's not the first game of the season, and it's you know MLS minutes are different from preseason minutes, but it's good to kind of you know get a taste of the water and, and you know get going from there. Uh, John, go ahead. Eric, uh, looking back at the whole process, the injury recovery, all that, what did you learn? I learned a lot about myself, you know, and it's a lot of um, not taking the game for granted. Um, you know, sometimes as athletes and as players, we kind of think, you know, oh, here's another game. And when that gets taken away, it's, you know, it's what's what's next to come. So it was good to, you know, kind of take a step back and, you know, be be here for the team as, as needed. So that was kind of, you know, big. And, and at the same time, just kind of taking care of the mentals. Um, sports not easy and then being athletes not easy and you know two injuries in, in almost two you know a little under two years um was was a lot to take in but it was good and had a good support system around me that you know kept me in it come uh, on and how excited for you that the game is finally here yeah i'm very excited it's been a long time coming uh, a lot of lead up uh preseason flew by um, so overall, I'm just very happy to finally play in front of the fans and get my debut at Providence Park. I know it's going to be special for sure. And then for those fans that haven't seen you yet, which is most, you know, we've watched a lot of Miami games last year. What do you bring to the team? I think uh, I just bring a calming presence at the back. Uh, when I'm on the ball, I think I can get our attacking guys in good spots. Uh, I think this league is a lot of transition. So I bring a lot of legs at the back in terms of speed and always being able to come up with that big tackle. So I think uh, fans will enjoy that. And, yeah, I just want to bring a lot of clean sheets and fix up some of the defensive woes that we're lacking over the past couple seasons because those are the small margins that will get us back in the playoffs and where we want to go as a team. Alex, go ahead. Eric, um, just wondering if, Phil's given you um, like a clear role uh, in midfield that you're going to be playing this season, and also if you have any gardening updates for us. Yeah, um, to, to address the first part of it, I think Phil's been um, good with not only me being able to play different positions, but also um, different roles. I know that every game is going to be something you know different for not only the group but myself as well. And I think it's um, having that understanding that you know figure it out as the game comes. Um, and not kind of be locked down to one one style of play or, or one position. Um, and I think the garden, it slowed down. We had a little bit of freezing rain, so a lot of things died. But got some hydrangeas coming in, which is which is a good sign. And, um, yeah, I'm just excited. I think I'm going to pass it on to Kamal a little bit. He's, he's you know, got the house coming along and making sure he has a garden too. So. Uh, Felipe, go ahead. Kamal, how are you doing? Felipe Ramos, a few players in the world can say you won a trophy with the goal. Messi. So you are bringing something, an experience of playing with someone that is so successful. Uh, a lot. Um, I'll just share a couple. Uh, I just learned on the ball and within the game, day in and day out, always a solution. Um, a lot of times you see players kick away the ball or panic in tight situations, but himself and the other quality players that they brought like Sergio and Jordi they always found a way out and yeah there's always a solution on the field you just got to find it and stay calm and off the field they showed me how to win uh, gracefully and be humble um, on his faces they won with so much grace and and yeah it, it shows why they win the small things. Uh, Tyson go ahead. Bill and Ned both seem to be counting down the days until you guys sign the, the deal. I like going into a, a season without having somebody that is expected to be so relied upon throughout the year. Like, how, how quickly can that all come together once you guys do make a signing? Yeah, I think it's not ideal what, what teams want to go through. We want to have our best 11 and um, work our patterns of play and develop that chemistry, but it's just another challenge for the group it does happen in football and I think it's just a great opportunity for everyone who's here currently to step up 
and take their game to another level. Everyone's going to have to uh, find a new level of their own play and bring it together collectively as a team because uh, we're going to need that going into these first couple of weeks. Uh, there's some big points on the line that we can look back later in the year and regret, so we have to go in right away with the mentality to win. Uh, Austin, go ahead. Uh, Kamal, what have been your kind of first impressions being around Diego Chara? Uh, just a top pro, um, every way possible uh, for the young players, gain longevity and have a, a long of things from him, like showing up earlier and that uh, hard work that he's put in over his career pro. We'll go to questions online now. Sam Ziller, go ahead. Yeah, for me, opening days and putting a good performance on the first day, we can gain the belief and the trust of the fans, and they're gonna keep definitely want to come out and put on a a good show for the first game. And and yeah, walking out in the tunnel, uh, something that I enjoy a lot as a pro, just all the hard work throughout the weeks and leading up to game day, that's when the lights turn on, when you get in that tunnel and it's time to get into game mode and uh, throw on that, that game face. So that means a lot. <laughs> all right, any last questions? Yeah, cool. um, Come on, how much have you actually played with Zach? Obviously both of you guys were with the Canadian national team, but have you played a 90 together? Yeah, we've played a couple 90s together. Um, and throughout preseason, we've developed, uh, or not developed, but continued to grow that relationship because it was already there. When we were playing with the national team, we, we had a bit of success there. And right away, our games complement each other a lot. Um, so I think it's a good partnership with a lot of positives. And I think it's only going to get better throughout the year. I think we both help each other in games. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see how far we can take this partnership. And um, at this point in both of our careers, it's a time where we're both looking to step up and be the leader on the back line. So why not both of us? We'll wrap it there. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Kamal.